Hi there. I thought today's project would be quite nice if we decorated a champagne glass. This is a ordinary champagne glass from the local supermarket. I buy them in sets of fours and they really do work well and they're quite cost effective if you're doing a few for a party. Um, I tend to use them at Christmas or birthdays and all of my family seems to just love them so you can really get creative with this and you know paint them how you like um what you will need for the actual job itself is to clean your wine glass i tend to get a little bit of um white spirit or possibly nail polish remover so some acetone would recommend you do this uh, children would do this. This is an adult art project. Um, the next thing are these little dibbing sticks, which I'll put in the descriptions of where I get them. There are quite a few different sizes if you're doing bigger projects for bigger glasses. They're quite useful because they do give you a purchase, if you like, onto the glass and you can make different shapes and they do come out rather well I've also got some wooden ones um, and they're quite inexpensive to get with regards to the paint I tend to buy the Pebo glass paint um, which you can see the 160 which you can pop in the oven to cure I wouldn't recommend that they go in the um, dishwasher. I always wash my glasses by hand. I believe the manufacturer says that once you've actually put them in the oven, if you read the instructions, you can find out for your particular paint that then you can put them in the dishwasher. But I usually always say to people with my glasses that I give or they asked me to make for them don't put them in the dishwasher I think they last far longer and some glasses I've had for years and years that I have painted and they've always been hand washed in a little bit of warm soapy water okay so off we go I'm going to start off with the darker colour um, gold that I've got here And what I tend to do is not to worry too much about the little... I'm going to do it as bubbles. So if I've got a glass here, for example, that I can show you that I made for Christmas. It was a bit fun. And what I did was made the bubbles go up the outside of the glass and popped on a few diamante pieces uh, to make them extra special and extra sparkly so if you quite like something like that you can really get crazy with colors and things people really liked them and um, they do make a table really shine if that's the sort of thing you like another one i've done is um, a silver one with um, different color blues on and silvers uh, for a party and a silver base so this one we're going to do today is um, a warm gold and silver for a celebration or a wedding anniversary so I usually do the bubbles first before I do the stem because holding the stem it doesn't get in the way and you can work straight from the pot or you can work from the lid and what I would tend to do is start here at the base of the glass and don't worry too much if you find that the paint goes opaque or thin. If you put too much paint on you're going to find that your bubbles tend to um, get a little bit runny. So I would start off and then just move around in a little circle shape coming up in the middle of the bubble and that's the way we would work round the bottom of the glass. So as you can see, it's quite quick once you get going. 
and personally I work on one side first because I don't want to run my paint if you put it on too thick it will take ages to dry so and it will run so just have a little bit of patience but there we go with the first set of bubbles now what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to lay this down here against this while I just pop open for the sheer purpose of the video I want to open up another gold type colour that I've got here so as we can uh, move on so this one that I've got here is called actual gold the one previously I was using for these is called warm gold I'm usually working quarters on the glass so if you can imagine that you've got one going here and one here and what I tend to do, as you can see on the glasses I showed you earlier, is that we have bubbles going right the way round the glass at the bottom, but then tapering off into smaller sections going up the glass, just the way that champagne would, champagne bubbles, or Prosecco. Oh, I love a bit of Prosecco. So, there we go. Dip the little dibber in. Just pop it on your glass and make a round bubble and these are quite nicely contrasting these little bubbles we'll just randomly pop them on different sizes I'm not trying to be perfect these are handmade unique items that are being made for people you care for love and they're done out of love so pop that into your work if you can and just go with it and enjoy it so again for the purpose of the video I'm just going to leave that one there for the moment and you can see the different light how it catches on the glass and those bubbles are just coming up slightly different as you go on I'll try and bring you in a bit actually so you can see a little bit more of how those bubbles are are going if you can see them there okay so I'll just go back down to the table and open our next colour this one is a shimmer and this one is oops excuse me cheers um, this is like a gold, uh, what is this? This is, shimmer bright orange. Okay, looks fairly gold to me, but there we go. So this one will give another different texture and look to the glass and away we go. making some of them a little bit bigger as you go along because as we all know with champagne some of the bubbles have a little mingle and make bigger bubbles I just love doing things like this because I can get lost in my own thoughts in my head I find it quite therapeutic actually. Well, better than ironing anyway. Okay, so we've got some there. And then I've got some silver here. Um, another shimmer silver to mix in with all the others. But let me just get this open. It's got a little bit stuck on the. There we go. There we are. And these are the four colours that I've chosen um, to do it with. So it's up to you what size dibber dabbers you use. Once you get going, you'll make your own minds up what you find works. Now, when I'm putting this on, I can see that this paint is actually a little bit thicker than the other paint. So it's going to give it, again, a different dimension. 
through the glass all together and it's also quite bright as you can see so on we go now I'm just going to carry on to do the dots around the bottom of the glass and I'll be back in a moment to show you the finish of the base okay so what I've done is um, done the glass there so as it's around about a quarter of the way up randomly done dots in the four different colors okay so the next thing we need to do is to look at building up the glass so as it looks as though the little bubbles come up the glass sorry about that that's my dog she thinks it's dinner time so what I would do is pop maybe some silver dots up the glass just in random areas just like champagne bubbles would go up to the top don't have to be in any specific order you can just enjoy yourself popping them on I'm going to stick with the silver and move around to this side and look as though they've come up on Two, three, four, okay, and up onto that side there, okay. So we've got two there, one, two, a bit like a fish tank really, I suppose. Not that I'd want to drink out of a fish tank. There we go with the next one. Up, up, up. There we go. There we are. And we've got enough room to fit one more round this side. So we're coming up from those bubbles at the bottom. Because you always get more of an intensity of bubbles at the bottom, don't you? If you make a mistake, like I've just done there, where you can see it's dripped across. You just get yourself a little bit of um, cotton wool with some nail polish. Mm, I might miss that actually. Some, some take them all off and redo them. That's the beauty of this paint. And doing this you don't have to be but the expert to get this done because if you do make a mistake you can just wipe them off okay so we've got our four areas around the glass so you can see how the bubbles are starting to come together now I'm gonna pop some gold through here that's our second set there one two bit of a bigger blob gonna go there and there and you can make these as big as you want or as little as you want but you can see how you can start to build up the colours and the little champagne bits as you go round the glass and these glasses they take on another meaning again once you actually start to fill them up with champagne or your Prosecco or lemonade whatever I mean they really do look stunning on the table as well and every single one of them is unique because you're just not going to be able to get another one the same because they've been handcrafted 
by you. And there are so many different patterns and styles that you can do. In fact, the next video, I'm going to show you um, how to do glitter glasses. But before we move on any further, I'm just going to finish off the other two sides of these. And then we'll come along and have a look at a couple of little bits of diamante on them. Okay, hi. So th here we go with the rest of the little gold and silver bubbles that I've popped on around the glass and for this particular glass I wanted to make it a little bit special because it's for a party a really big celebration of the 50th wedding anniversary so what I would tend to do now is maybe add some diamantes because often with um, events like this people might want to take these home and you can leave it like this because you know people you might prefer it i will always add the base and we will do that uh the stem in the base um in a bit but i'm going to put the diamantes on now i always use a really good crafting glue here it is called um that way around e 6000 plus it's a really good glue is crystal clear I've never had anything fair with it actually multi surface it's really good and I would pick that up from one of the major online stores um, so take a little bit of the glue here and pop it on your back of your diamante picking it up at the same time and then just pop this laying it down onto the glass in amongst the bubbles there okay so you can start to see where these are going to mix amongst the rest of those that you painted and they will add a real little bit of glitz to your glasses you can pick these up in your hobby store your local craft store again any one of the major online retailers will sell these and um, again don't put them near where people um, near the lips of the glass because people might swallow them if they did accidentally come off these really are decoration glasses just don't put them where people are going to actually put their mouths because you don't want one to come off that wouldn't be very nice at all so I will be back shortly when I've put a few more of my little diamantes on and you can see that we're really building up a celebration glass that will be quite special and I think the nice thing about these, not only do you make them yourself, but when you give them to people, they they keep them because they are unique. And they're such a joy to give as well. You know, the art of giving something that you've made for somebody special. A pair of these on a 50th wedding anniversary that you put your heart into will go a long way I believe I think they're lovely and I'll show you how to do the base and I'm just going to pop in another couple of diamantes here and then I think I'm going to do the base gold because um, the wedding anniversary is a 50th which is gold hi so there we go I've just added some of the paint to the base and to the stem in the colour of one of the gold bits on the glass. When they're full up, um, you can see that they take on quite a really spectacular um, 
setting for a table um, and you can see why you would do it in this colour for the Prosecco and the bubbles and things and I think they just look great for a party and if you're really being nice people can take these home as a memento for the evening or from the day and I absolutely love them don't forget to tell people to just put them in some light wash washing up liquid and warm water to finish them off um it they don't take long to do and they really don't take long to dry um i've put some diamantes as you can see around the bottom of the glass but you really can just you know pop different colors on however you feel the theme would run i might put silver down here for a different colored anniversary for example when you get them all together if you do decide to do different um, styles they do work really well as a set when you know they're so colorful and unique and i think they're a lot of fun so i really do hope you enjoy making them and if you feel you'd like to then join me again for the next wine glass painting and um Cheers, everybody.